Yeah, man. How are we doing? Good. Have you seen you kind of get on these guys about uh, pass protection, especially? I mean, how difficult is that to, to master as a running back? And it... I think the biggest thing is this repetition. You know, the repetition of punching and, and seeing the defender. You know, and it's it's not as easy as you think because it's right at the last second and having the perfect timing. So, getting a lot of reps until they can do it correctly is, is the most important thing. So we try to drill it every day. How much, you know, you got some guys that are maybe closely bunched together there, maybe similar running. You know, how can that be a separator in terms of, of getting plays, getting playing time, and all that? Well, it, deter it determines how, how much you stay on the field. Every one of our guys have to be able to pass protect because we're going to throw the ball, and it's, it's going to come times where, you, you know, you can't switch guys in and out based on their abilities to pass from. So it's important that they all know how to. What's, what's kind of the, the biggest thing, um, you know, to, to be a good pass protectors you, know, you got to be physical you got to be got to just have good vision you have, you have to have toughness and you have to have great time and the ability to think between the snaps you know what I mean it's very important were you were you good at it back in your day was that something that if you look back on your career do you it's feel a like skill you, you have to to develop you know it takes time and um, I got good because I did it a lot of times you know and I think that's the most important thing we did it in practice and then we got to the game and we did it in games so. Have you started to see any separation between any of the backs, or is it too early for that? It's too early. We haven't even gotten to the first scrimmage, and guys are just trying to get their feet wet and figure out some things. So we got some freshmen just just figuring out which way to go on some plays. So um, I think the most important thing is get to this first scrimmage, and things are starting to shake as we get closer to the season. What do you like about the running back so far? I like the effort. You know, they're trying to do the things that we talk about in the meeting room. They're trying to be physical. They're trying to finish runs. Um, they're trying to pass protect and do things the right way. So that's the biggest thing I've been impressed with. Have you seen an improvement in Lane and Neal since the spring? Um, yeah, um, I've seen an improvement in day to day. You know, instead of put, putting together a couple of good plays, they're starting to put together good practices. So they're doing things the right way. Devin Young also his progress. He's doing well. He's doing well. Catching the ball out of the backfield well. Um, he's running between the tackles well, so we just got to keep that up. Why do you think he's running well between the tackles? Hard to see. It's just hard to yeah. see him, and um, I think he's pressing his runs better, so we just got to continue to be consistent with that. Has he got good vision also? I think he does. I think he does. Um, I think all our guys have pretty good vision when they're looking in the right places. Do, do you think you're going to go running back by committee, or would you like to identify one guy to carry the ball to the ball? I don't know yet. It, it depends on after these scrimmages where we stand. Um, I just want to put the right guys in the right position to make plays. You hear at times about how running backs to get in a rhythm and that sometimes it might be hard if they're rotating in series. What, what did you think? What was it like for you in college? It's a little bit difficult. And some guys, it depends on how many plays you can handle. Some guys, it's not difficult because they can only handle 20 plays or 25 plays. And I think that's, that's it. That's the way it is for a lot of players at a lot of different positions. So it just depends. If we got three guys that can only handle 20 to 25 plays uh, a piece, then it'll be by committee. I'll touch on the freshman running backs, if you will. They're doing good. They're doing. They're trying to figure out where to go, and you know, um, it's a lot thrown on them right away. And we try to do that on purpose, just to, you know, to get that stress level up so they can start learning quicker. Um, and they're doing a good job. Anybody stick out so far? Um, not yet, until they figure out some things. I think they're just trying to learn. I go right on this play, I go left on this play, and then we'll get into the coaching techniques. And, and collectively, do you think the running backs are, are pretty good at catching the ball out of the backfield? Yes, I, I think they're really good at it. They're really good at that. Derek said kind of after the first full pads practice that your group kind of looked like a group that had been beat up for seven months and they came out trying to prove something. Did you, you kind of get that feel from this group that they're, they're anxious because, you know, there's so much talk about the wide receiving core and, they're kind of their forgotten group. Do you kind of sense that urgency with them? I don't think it's because of that. I think the kids just have urgency. You know, I think they're a year older, and they're starting to understand this is the way we practice, this is the way we do things. So I think they're just looking at the position and, hey, we're going to push as hard as we can, and I'm going to push them as hard as they can to uh, get to that, that level. We heard so much about Rajon and the offseason program and kind of working out with the, the offensive linemen and different things like that. Have you seen kind of a transformation in his attitude and, and just what he's been able to do on the field so far? His attitude's been really good. You know, he hadn't had the highs and lows. He's been really consistent, working hard. So um, I've noticed that these first four or five practices that we've had. Thanks, Jay.